It was really, really relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> it was relaxing not filming with Ali. No, it was really different actually, because uh, we've filmed for nearly, it's well, obviously six seasons with Ali, so the dynamic changed massively, didn't it? It did, it, but it, did you feel like it only felt odd for the literally the first couple of days? Yeah, you adapt and you, 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 you get used to things really yeah. quickly, so it was, it was strange, but at the same time, like Monster Carp had almost come to and at like a natural end with us anyway. We felt like it needs to be changed up um, and we did and it's gone really well. So it was, yeah, I think that's fair to say. Mm. I wouldn't have anyone now. I think um, it works so well with two of us and it's so much easier to get around the lake and to film just in general with two of us. I really, really, really wouldn't want a third person. I think it's just so much easier with us, isn't it? It, it and is. we've got a really good relationship, even though you're really annoying. Yeah. It, yeah. We have got a good relationship now. But as an aside to that, I don't think it would be fair on a third presenter because you're, no matter what you say or whatever happens, that person is seen as a replacement for Ali. Yeah. And you, Ali's so unique, mm. you, you can't replace him. No, you can't. So no, I'm, I'm with you. I think two is the magic number. Yeah, it worked that the format changed completely. So yeah. nobody's being compared to our... We're, we're original Monster Carp, and um, yeah. like you said, yeah, the whole, like the whole project's I, 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 smoother. I like two people. It's so much better to yeah. film with two people. It means you can both fish in the same swim. It means you can move much quicker, um, and it means the freezer crowd in general when it comes to conversation and and sort of just filming anything in general. So um, two is good for me. The most annoying thing about fishing with Neil <laughs> is like, it, if we're on a lake where um, we're catching lots of fish and we're filming, bearing in mind we're filming for like two weeks, if it gets to like four o'clock in the morning, we've been up all night catching, it's like every now and then I'll put the, the rod on the bivvy, but this idiot <laughs> just carries on going all the way through. And it means because I'm fishing with him, I have to get up <laughs> as well so we're not we're not like trying to sleep with three rods fishing we're trying to fish with six rods fishing and then with them being nils rods as well he's constantly casting or doing something or getting bites he's just like it doesn't slip it's like it's like fishing with hamster <laughs> <laughs> sorry was oh, yeah, that the so best or worst that, that? <laughs> that was the worst right okay and you're just generally quite annoying just i'm gonna like, be i'm gonna actually give a nice response oh god yeah it's gonna make you feel bad the the good thing, the great thing about fishing with him is he's uh, incredibly level-headed. So if you're at a point in your fishing where we, we've had it on the most recent season of Monster Carp, where it's not going my way to begin with, I'll have a chat with Tom. He's very, very like, to almost takes emotion out of it, controls it down. You know what you're doing is right. Keep doing it, and it will come good. And sometimes you need that because you know Dan spends a lot of money to send us. To, to film these shows. And when you're sitting there and, and literally nothing's happening, sometimes you need a little pep talk and he is the right man for that. That's nice. It's true. That though. was really, so you're much nicer than I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was nice. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of something nice about fishing. <laughs> very difficult, very difficult. Yeah. Uh, positive mental attitude. That, see, see how nice he was then, that is really key. I'm not that nice. <laughs> and I can get down in the dumps a little bit. So whenever it does feel a little bit tough, it's quite nice to have that positivity around sometimes. Ultimately, we work well as a team. Let's just leave it there and move on. Yeah, it's we? great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it stinks, that, that monkey stinks. It's really bad. And I don't particularly believe in luck in that sort of way. I think Neil catches loads of fish because he's a good angler, not because of the monkey. So I'd quite happily throw it in and never see it again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, seems harsh. God. Um, we, we want, certainly in this season, we've wanted to, to, as much as possible, bring the adventure into it. If you go fishing with your mate, group of mates, it isn't always about trying to catch the biggest fish that swims. We're, but, and I say but because we also want to pick venues where the, the adventure's right, but they also, they've got to be fish that we really want to catch, mm. that we look at pictures and think, 
just imagine having that one in your album. So wh wherever we go, there's always a fish that we've seen that we'd, we'd, one of us would love to catch. But I think the adventure element is a, is a big part as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. We've, we've also got to think that it's a, a series as a whole as well. So we can't have... If me and Neil got to pick exactly where we where we went every time, we'd probably pick places like Cassian, Salagu, Carces, places that have got a bit of adventure element to them. Um, but we have to look at it, like I said, as a series. So we have to pick somewhere where we can go and probably catch some easier big fish, somewhere like Sumba or Sazaki or something like that in Croatia. We have to have a couple of places that look adventurous and open wide, great drone shots and that sort of venue. Um, and then somewhere in between. So we have to put a bit of diversity across across the waters, really. But like I said, I would I would go to them big waters every time, mm. but just can't really do it because then they end up all looking the same, even though you're at a different lake. The story, like the narrative's the same, yeah. um, and there's, we we say similar things, and you don't want that across the whole series. You want sort of individual shows that have got a bit of different story to them. Uh, and I think some of that fishing that we do, the, the big adventurous ones, they are amazing. But we also want to make programs that everyone can aspire to, and everyone can aspire to go down to Cassian and do it. But the realities behind it is you need a lot of specialist kit to do that. So by going to some mm. of the more commercial type venues, uh, literally anyone can phone up, book and go. So that, that's that's an important important part as well. Yeah. I do enjoy it. I, I really liked Creek Lake, it was unreal. Oh. It was like one of my best ever trips, like ridiculous amounts of big fish. And sometimes it is nice to be in a really comfortable gravel swim that you can just sit there for a week yeah. and spod at 80 yards. <laughs> that is nice sometimes. Yeah, so definitely. yeah, a bit of diversity. Uh, yeah, we can. The um, we open up with an, with, just, with an, an epic venue, uh, Lac Salagou, down in the south of France. Um, episode two. Episode two, we go to Oriana, in Spain. We actually fished it. Um, five years ago or something, I think, ish, and we failed, so we go back for redemption. Uh, it's a really good app, actually. They're all really good apps, but that particularly is, is really good. Then um, we go to Parco de Brenta in yep. Italy, which is one of the easier, bigger fish venues. Um, Less said, the better. <laughs> <laughs> you got a, a bit of a big mistake on that, on that trip. We, Neil had one job and it was to book the dates for Parco and we get there and the weeks were wrong. So we didn't have any swims when we got there, but um, you'll see it unfold in the show. It's really quite funny. Um, and then the fourth ep is um, Hungary, Euro Aqua, fishing for a world record. So you'd have to wait and see what happens there. You could be looking at world record holders right now and you won't even know until you watch it. <laughs> So much prep, unbelievable amount. Of so prep. much. It's like it's 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 like almost a full time job for a number of people to 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 get everything ready for these shows. Gary Newman works is bollocks off, um, organising everything, making sure that you know everything's set and ready to go in the country, making sure that we've got all the kit, the bait, and everything else done. And you know, even with me and Neil, we're we're. We're coming back and then sorting all of the kit out for a very different venue, um, organising other venues, making sure that the right people are about. Um, and then you've obviously got a crew of like 12 to 14 people. Um, and just organising that amount of lads is like organising a stag do every few weeks. So it's, uh, it's, it's so, so much more prep than anyone can ever imagine. Yeah, it's mind blowing when you, if, if, someone from, if someone from the outside was to come and get involved with it for a little bit of time, mm. you'll be you'd just be blown away with mm. what goes on. The thing is, the stakes are high as well. We're not we're not making something for YouTube and we can go there and wing it. Everything has to be nailed on. We need to make sure that we're at the right venue at the right time on the right day. <laughs> um, and I promise you never mention it. Yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, because, yeah, the stakes are, we're making something for ITV and everything has to be right and the pressure's on. So um, a lot of prep goes into it. Booking the date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting the dates right. Getting the dates right is important. I get I struggle with that. Mm. Struggling, struggle <sighs> with most. I, I probably because it's no secret, I, I just want to fish, don't I? Yeah. And I suppose the biggest struggle is the the first two or three days. 
But getting into the swing just of the getting filming. into the getting get in there. Your first day, you're not even looking at your fishing kit. You're often doing something else mm. not to do with the fishing. Mm. Once you get there, you've turned up at a lake and you know you can't cast out for probably another 24 hours. Mm. And I just want to get going all the time. Yeah. That Mentally, that's where I struggle. Yeah, I see. I don't struggle. I think the fishing comes second nature to us now. I'll tell you what, though, even though moving into the exec producer role, which is you've got more weight on your shoulders to make sure everything happens. Not that, not that there's loads to do because we've got um, we've done it so many times. We know what everyone's up to. But if there's any issues or any problems, then I have to think about solving them. And that takes away a little bit from the fishing. So you're not, whereas before I was, all I was doing was thinking about the fishing. Whereas now you have to think about how happy yeah. the group is and making sure that there's no issues between everyone. And um, so that, even though it's not a struggle, that has that's sort of changed a little bit this year. And it makes me not so clear headed about the fishing, I think, which is I can sort of sympathize with our a little bit now before, especially when he was doing it before we were in a real role of of having the right crew and everything like that. So that was that was there was probably more weight on his shoulders than I imagined before. How general we're we going like bait. <laughs> it's really important you got it's so bait. important that we've got you. <laughs> I can't do it on my own. Yeah, and, and it's important you, we've got you. Yeah, cameras. Cam yeah. Really important. Uh, and um fish. Venue, venue. Need, need a venue. Oxygen, yeah. <laughs> really, really important. What about creature comforts? Underrated. What, what do you what like? Once you've got your new massive bivy set up, mm. what bits? I mean, I think one for me, without having to rely on the other people around you, is a um, phone charger. I really do. I mean, we we have to do a lot on our phone whilst we're away. Yeah. And just to be able, just to have that, a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Phone, I, I, phone I, in general is good. Yeah, so I, I keep think in contact so. with your family. Don't feel like you're away so much. No, FaceTime is FaceTime. a remarkable invention. That's good. Well done, Neil. Here to help. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's generic, but saying that the right kit, we know the venues that we're going to, we've obviously done our research before we get there. Mm. So we know that, like, you know, if we're fishing a, if we're fishing more of a commercial, we know we're getting bites on tiny little hook baits, that's mm. great. But if we were then to turn up in Hungary with just those tiny little hook baits, yeah. we'd be catching them all day, every day. Yeah, true. So having the, the right, right bait. so, you know, hook baits in this instance, having the right hook bait for the venue to to make the fishing possible. Mm. But that's quite important as well. Yeah, I think it's the same sort of thing with the crew as well. You've got to have the right crew members to make it work. Well, yeah, you've like got- We've even got, we've got, we've got a chef called Kurt and he's been part of the furniture for years. Yeah. And he's just so ideal with it. It gets all of the food because you're filming all of the time. It's um, everything's a slick operation now. So um, yeah, the right monster carp crew make it what it is. Mm. I think it's more than three in there, but. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think my favorite is still the very first one we ever did. Yeah. I think Balaton, because we didn't really know it was going to become a monster carp. We didn't yeah. even have a title. I wasn't meant to be there. I was a last minute sub, so I don't think Pecky could make it. Is that what happened? Yeah, I was never meant to be on the first <laughs> one. I was always a super sub. Uh, super sub. Now you run the show. <laughs> but no, but the, it, we all fished together, yep. which it didn't happen that often when all three of us were doing it. Obviously we all get on well. We all caught lots of fish. Mm. And the whole storyline from start to finish, if you'd have scripted it, that's exactly how it would have gone. Yeah. And, and that's that, where it's born as well, isn't it? Yeah, and it, it that will take that will always take some beating for me, that one. That's beautiful, that is. Oh, well. That is beautiful. Mine's when I caught loads of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I do actually agree with you now you said that I agree mm. with you, but obviously I'm not gonna pick the same one. I, I think um for me, Car says was oh, one yeah. of the best. Sort of didn't really know what to expect of Car says. It's a lake in the south of France, not far from Cassian. And it turned out that we timed it unbelievably well. We all caught loads of really big fish. The episode came out really well after as well, because there was just such a great story with Ali struggling and then catching the biggest one at the end, which was the most ridiculous carp I've ever seen in my life. Ridiculous. Big round 70 pound black common. It's just like unbelievable oh, after the week yeah. we'd had. 
all and of the carp were special from there, weren't they? Yeah, I've got such good memories of like, even like all of the pictures I've got from carp says are unreal. Yeah, all of the little short videos we've got, and it was it was one of the last ones we'd done as well, wasn't it? As a group. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and it, and I could. Yeah, it, it just it's, it's, car says are special to me. I think it's really really good app. Yeah, I will get recognised absolutely everywhere now, literally everywhere. Um, there was there was always a jump because I, I started off, it was, I went through the ranks really with with um, media sort of style of just being put in front of people, whatever you'd say. So it went from magazines that you don't really get recognised at all, for, for right in the beginning to then being on YouTube, masterclass, then getting recognised quite a lot, and then thinking tackle uh, thinking tackle their way around, and then Monster Carp is like. Another stratosphere. Just a completely different level. For some reason, when you're on telly, people look at you. You can tell that people look at you different when they look at well, you, don't they? I do just it's want weird. to say something. If you are walking down the high street and you happen to see me or Dovey, come and say hello. Don't send me a message on Instagram after saying, what well, did you just buy in Debenhams? Because <laughs> that is creepy, right? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. very, very approachable. We are carp anglers that love what we do. No difference to anyone else. If you, you, know, if you see us, you want to come and have a chat, Please do. Yeah. No messages. <laughs> strange. But yeah, like, like, you just get recognised all of the time now, which is which is still strange to me a little bit. It's getting less strange now because I'm sort of more used to it's, it. It is strange though. My kids find it really strange. Do they? Yeah, really strange. Hmm. Hmm. But... Well, Dovey has taken on the exec producer role. So Dovey has spent Dovey sp now spends a lot longer than ever before, still much far longer than me. Um, the, the actual voiceover side of it. Yeah, that took a few is, three days or something. Yeah, two or three days. We go to Molinaire in Soho, which is a recording studio and get it all. We normally get two eps done in a day and we have one longer ep, which we do in one day and then we'll have sort of half a day here and there as well. Um, but, but, your, but your post-production side of it now. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah, especially now. We've got a new director now, Ross, and he sort of um, will sculpt the show a little bit different to we were doing it before. So instead of having like five, six, seven versions of the show that we would watch as an edit after in post-production, we now have like between 15 and 20. So each of the shows that go out, we've watched just a ridiculous amount of times. And because they're like an hour, an hour and a half each of the show in the end, like in the beginning, them, them our 44 minute shows are like two hours long. So there's an awful lot of watching it and changing it um, that goes on now, which is, I actually have really enjoyed it, but um, it, ta it, ta it takes an awful lot of time with an awful lot of people as well. So, um, loads. <laughs> While he's doing that, I just go fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> takes all the credit for it after. <laughs> Uh, uh, very difficult. Yeah, I uh, think watching it back, what watching the shows back, I would have to say. I think Italy's probably my <laughs> favourite. <laughs> the shows are quite different now because they're because it's the, it's just me and Neil, and we're almost always together as well. There's a lot more about our relationship as there is the fishing. So um, there's some quite funny little storylines in, in in Italy that just. I just piss myself laughing when I watch it back still, even though I've watched it so many times. Um, so yeah, I think for like, if, if a non-angler was watching it, I think Italy's funny. But um, as an angler, I would say either Italy yeah. or Salagu. Salagu. Yeah. Salagu's the first, the, the only worry with Salagu is, is that it's an, it's, it's a long, it's like, a, it's, a, it's an hour and a half special at the front. So it feels, you have to commit to it and sit and watch it, but it is so good. It looks amazing. We've um, never fished anywhere like that. We've fished big wild waters. It's such a good show. Yeah. So good, even to like, the, to even the very last moment's amazing. Yeah. So, um, Incredible episode. I think as an angler, Salagu, I think yeah, everyone would appreciate it. New series comes out on uh, July the 7th at 8 p.m. on ITV4. Please, please watch it. Please watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we put so much effort we in. We really it. So like good. what we do. We don't have to stop. <laughs> <laughs>